Are we recording? Okay. So welcome to our second monthly combined team call with Tribe Redefine and Team Fit Dynasty. Appreciate everybody hopping on on Monday night. It's nice when the first of the month falls on a Monday in my brain. I like when that happens. So um, appreciate everybody taking the time to jump on our call. And um, I'm going to start, do a little bit of recognition, talk about the Success Club trip, um, a couple of things we have going on this week, and then Pam's going to take over, and then we're going to add with our actionable item. So I always, I like to start these calls with some recognition because we just came off of the end of March, talk about our Success Club point earners and just recognize how many, I counted actually how many uh, lives we impacted last month, not just the Success Club people, but everybody who sold the challenge pack and added that up because that's a really important number. So I want to highlight the Success Club number. So um, at the top, we had Teresa with Success Club 12. Amazing job, Teresa. She's been so consistent, hitting Success Club 10 plus for the past several months. So great. Um, also, Stephanie hit Success Club 12. It was combined between her and her husband's account. Amazing job, Stephanie, who also has a big ranking advancement, com advancement coming on Thursday. So Stephanie is going to be officially a diamond coach as of Thursday. So, so, so excited for you. Um, we, I'm trying to go in order here. Pam hit success club 10. Amazing job. Pam always rock of consistency for the past like three plus years. Leslie success club 10 as well. Amazing job. Um, she, I've just seen such a growth in Leslie the past, this past year. And I'm just really super proud of her. Um, and I love watching her on social media because she makes me laugh and smile. Um, who else do we have? Amanda, my coach Amanda, who's due to have her first baby any day, Success Club 8. Um, Amanda actually was has been a coach for over a year and just started in January, you know, really um, working the business. And she's hit Success Club ever since she started really working in January. So really proud of her. And now she says she's on a maternity leave officially. She's really going to focus on her business. I'm like, you do have, you know, we're having a baby too. So we have another Team Fit Dynasty baby coming any day, which is really exciting. We have Brooke, another new coach, Success Club 8. That's one of Melissa Norco's coaches, um, which is really cool to kind of see how we're trickling down. And it's not only our coaches, but their coaches and their coaches hitting Success Club. So doing something right, guys. Um, Alyssa Deskins, Success Club 6. She's been really consistent as well. And Stacy Hicks coming in last minute. Success Club 6, she sold her final challenge pack. Oh, and also Robin, I'm sorry. Robin also had Success Club 6. In the final hour, I think she sold two challenge packs uh, yesterday. So really great job, Robin. And if I missed anybody or if the numbers are wrong, if you didn't let me know today, I did ask. Sometimes it takes a day or two to update in the system. So I apologize if the numbers aren't exactly correct. We'll have an updated March Success Club total um, in the next couple of days. But you guys, amazing month. Total as a team, the whole downline helped 67 people last month. Um, think about that, you guys. Think about if you saw 67 people sitting in a room. That's a lot of people in one month. Um, and that's what represents what who we've helped. And then beyond those 67 people are their husbands or their wives or their kids who are benefiting from the healthy life change that we are helping them make. So just super great. Um, and I think too, just with all that we have going on, that that 67 can easily be 100 plus. Um, so that's kind of like where I want to take that number, where we can help an additional 30, 40 people um, every single month for the rest of the year and just see how much that we can grow this. So really great job again in the month of March. And for everybody who had um, even at least one challenge pack to contribute to that 67, amazing, amazing job. Okay, so um, I also wanted to make a big announcement for a big recognition, a big rank advancement. Who it's not, it's supposed to be in the coach office. There was a mistake made. That's why I haven't officially posted in our team page. But um, Melissa Norco officially hit diamond on Thursday. So, really great job, Melissa. She has done such a good job developing her coaches who have. You know, her two working coaches have both, her Emeralds have both been hitting Success Club every single month, and she's done a really great job helping them get started and helping lead them and teaching them everything that they know. So super proud of her, so excited to have her this weekend at the retreat, um, and I cannot be more proud. So Melissa, amazing, amazing job. You put it out there as your goal, and you got it done. So really, really proud of you. 
Um, okay. <clears throat> so leadership retreat, you guys, um, for everybody who's coming, I'm going to be sending out details for that, but it's this upcoming weekend. I am super excited to ha host. We're having nine people, including me in New York City. Um, we have an action packed weekend and it's going to be really, really fun. So I cannot wait to see everybody and it's just spend some time, have some a girl weekend and just to have a really fun weekend. So that's coming up. We'll be sharing some things. I'm actually going to be doing a coaching insider, which um, I send a message to everybody who's coming to that retreat. But if anybody else on the team wants to be added to that and you can add your people, it's a great way. So you don't have to kind of reinvent the wheel to show people what's available with coaching. And it's going to have everything it lays, it's going to lay out everything. It's a social learning group. So we're going to have everybody doing some videos in there to tell their stories and just what coaching in is what the financial commitment is. Um, and just talking about all different, like all the benefits and then all the requirements of coaching. So maybe you don't feel comfortable discussing the business opportunity yet. So that's a great way to plug your people into that and get the perspective from all different coaches who have been doing this for all different amounts of time. And Pam also does her um, sneak peek. She's doing it every other week, right? Pam, you have one Thursday. So she's also, she's creating these calls and then doing YouTube videos after she's done. And so she has a library to send people. So you guys, the point of me telling you this is to use these resources, especially for the newer coaches that don't feel comfortable yet doing it, like I said, because you don't have to do everything. When you're just starting out, you don't, have, like I think that's where I really struggled my first year because I couldn't figure out how to balance time between getting new customers in my challenge groups and getting new coaches and how to do that and how to speak to people when I didn't really feel like I knew what I was doing and I struggled. Um, so use these resources, talk to them also, but then say, hey, I have this um, coaching insider or the sneak peek call on Thursday and you guys are more than welcome to add as many people as you can and it'll just, it will really help you feel more comfortable and then help you learn how to speak to it on your own. So use these resources are going to be available and the retreat one always does really well. And it's something where you can just add people anytime. It doesn't have to be the, just this weekend. It could be anytime going forward. Um, super weekend is coming up. We were just talking about it because I know that a lot of you are going to Philly. Um, I'll be at Westchester in New York, super Saturday, um, Philly, super Sunday, but if you haven't yet, wherever you guys live, plug it in to, if you just Google Super Weekend, Beachbody Super Weekend, you can put in your zip code. All the events will list where, you know, where they are closest to you. And I, I cannot, we say this every quarter, but I cannot recommend Super Weekend enough. I didn't go for my first two years. And then when I finally made the commitment to go, I vowed to never miss again. And it literally changed my entire business. Pam can probably say the same thing when she, what she hasn't missed one in Philly. Um, it's just such a great event. You get to see the Beachbody community on a local level and meet people who are doing the same thing. And it just really opens up your eyes to what this business is and give you a feel for the community. And I just can't say enough. So if you're local in Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, come to ours in Westchester. We have a Dallas coming. If you're in South Jersey or Pennsylvania, join Pam and her group and her team um, on Super Sunday. But really try to get out to event. We have, we have a really, a lot of great announcements that are coming. Okay. Last piece before, um, Pam talks, I just wanted to talk about, um, the success club trip in my experience, because I've never been to one before. So this was my first ever success club trip. I've qualified to go. I think it was my third year qualifying, but it was my first time that I actually went just because when the kids were little, it just didn't work out for us in Phil's work schedule. Um, but I finally uh, went and I'm like so mad <laughs> that I didn't go the other years that I was invited because it was so much fun. I can't even tell you guys the attention to detail that they put into this. Um, you know, every Royal Caribbean employee had like a beach body hat on every elevator had like the beach body logo in the elevator there were signs everywhere there were just so everywhere you went it was just on the side of the ship when we port it was like the beach body flag on the side of the ship and like just thinking about you know i'm doing this i'm hosting a retreat pam's hosting a retreat for our little teams carl rented an entire cruise ship for team beach body like imagine being a ceo of a company and 
bought like renting out a cru the largest cruise ship in the entire world for your company. Like imagine with how good that feels. And you know, they just went above and beyond for the, for us. Um, I mean, anything we wanted um, for us hitting elite this year was covered and our whole family went to Atlantis and Phil got a massage and I got my hair done and just so many f amazing things to make it just such a fun weekend. Um, I want each of each of you to be able to experience the same thing. So today I posted the opt-in list. So you have to put your name on the list. It does, you don't, you're not committing to anything by putting your name on the list. You're just going to be able to get in the queue to get invited to the success club trip. Once they send you an email, it will tell you, you know, you have seven days or five days to decide if you want to go and they do it based on success club points. Um, and once you get that email, you can decide. So how it works really quick, is they value the trip at $1,200. What you get for that $1,200 is you and one guest, it could be your husband, it could be a coach on your team, it could be a friend, it could be your mom, anybody, can go on this trip. It's all inclusive, so the resort and all the food and drinks are included in this one. The cruise is a little different, so this is really great. You do have to pay for your airfare there. Um, that's the one thing, you just have to get there, and then once you're there, the whole five days is covered. You don't have to think about it unless obviously you buy something. Um, but that's really great. So $1,200, they break it down by trip dollars. Each success club point is equal to 10 trip dollars as long as you hit success club six. If you don't, they're worth $5 a piece. But let's just assume we all hit success club. They're $10 a piece for my easy math in my head. And if you hit success club 10 every month, you have that equals to 100 trip dollars times 12 months. That's $1,200. That will get your trip paid for in January. If you remember, trip dollars doubled. So if you had success of ten, you got two hundred trip dollars. So looking back into where you were at the quarter, you know they actually break, they divide the twelve hundred into four three hundred dollar payments. They take a look at what you did for that those three months of success club. If you if your trip dollars equal three hundred or more, you don't owe anything. If they don't, they bill you. But then if you make up for it at the end of the year, they reimburse you. So you have the opportunity hitting success club 10 plus every month to get your entire trip paid for. And so something I read that Melanie Mitro said was if you're worried about flight, open up a bank account and funnel 10 to $20 a week from your commissions into that account. And that's your travel account for summit. I would say $20 for the whole thing about it for 20. If you do $20, that's going to give you, you know, a thousand dollars, right? How am I doing that? I, I can't, I do math all day. I can't even think. Um, and you'll have money to fly if you do that. 10 to $20 every single week for an entire year, your flights will be paid for. And that's not a lot to ask. You just need to have the discipline to actually, to actually do that. But it's so worth paying the flight to go. It was just so much fun. Um, got to meet so many great coaches. And one thing I took away, uh, two things. One, Carl's great. He like walks around the ship. Uh, Autumn and Joel and all the trainers that were there. You know, Joel was in the casino with us, like, you know, just everyone just kind of hangs out, Carl walking around talking to people. Um, and I met a lot of coaches of, of people I never heard of. And I felt like this was a really cool thing to see. Coaches I never heard of that are really successful, I meant to say, that are making a ridiculous income. Um, that, never heard of them before. I didn't know their names, but coaches that built their business for income, which just gave me a lot of I just like to see that where it's like, okay, it's not always about, you know, who these top 10 people are, the top 20 people in the company, right? It's, there's coaches out there that have been doing this 10 years who maybe aren't even, haven't hit elite in the past two, three years, but are, are making a really great income and continuing to work their business and help so many people by leading their teams. Um, so that was a really cool thing to see uh, and to meet them and just kind of learn from them. So as much fun as it was, I also learned in, just by talking to people and learning about what other people do and picking their brains. And because it's in like a relaxed environment, you really just get to know people. So it was really awesome. I hope everybody could be there next year with me in the Dominican Republic. So I'm really, really excited about that. And I think that's it. That's all I have. I just like to kind of go through all the announcement stuff. One last thing, 21 day fix reboot started today. So if you guys have people who love 21 day fix, which are a lot of them, it's not too late to get them hooked up to do the 21 day fix, 21 day fix extreme refilm that autumn is doing on live every day on Beachbody on demand.
but they need to purchase ultimate portion fix. That is their ticket to get it. All right, of course, Kellen waited till Jessica finished to come downstairs. This is like par for the course. I have no other adult in the house, so it's just me. Go get your cars, go play with your cars. Um, I'm gonna pull a little bit of an audible and I, I am gonna talk about my Thursday coach uh, sneak peek and what I'm doing with that and something to encourage you all to do. But just a few points I want to put a, a, another perspective on to reiterate the points Jess is making. First off, Super Sunday, Jess and I have both attended solo. So do not be shy about that. Think about it as you know going to Target. When you get to Target, everyone else who's there wants to be at Target. You go to Super Sunday, everybody else who's there wants to get Super Sunday. You're going to make friends. There's a coach who is from Philly, who one time when I attended, Leslie was supposed to come. Her daughter got the stomach bug. She had to back out last minute. And I was by myself and this other coach was by herself. And we ended up making good friends. And she's now in my accountability calls that I host on Wednesdays. So it's just a really great networking opportunity, but there's nothing like the buzz of live events. So with that in mind, Jess talked about the success club trip. I want to encourage all of you to do what you can to shoot for NLC because new leader conference Jess was able to attend last year. I was able to attend in February. It it's, I don't want to say like I walked out of there and suddenly my business blew up because that didn't happen whatsoever. <laughs> Team Cup month was a real struggle for me. It was one of my hardest months ever. Um, and I think it was because of all of the new information I gained. And I walked out of there with such insight and such, um, I don't even want, clarity is not the word, such intense understanding of everything that it took me that month to really sort it out and figure out what makes sense for me, what makes sense for my team, what makes sense for my coaches and what we're seeing as our, our dreams and as our future. But in order to get to NLC, you need to hit one star diamond. If you hit two star diamonds, you get your hotel room paid for. I was able to do that. I'm not two star anymore, but well, that's another conversation for another day. But it got me my ticket. It got me my hotel room. And what that gave me was a day and a half, which doesn't seem like a lot, of jam-packed awesomeness. Sitting there with girls next to me who's upline coaches you hear of on the national wake up calls all the time who like Jess have been on beach body champions doing training who look like you know, those women you would have seen at Target. They don't look like anybody fancy. They don't look like anybody special. They are just there ready to roll. And the coaches who spoke on stage were Amy Rada, um, Ashley Molstad, Ali Tessitore, and Keisha Fitzgerald. And other than Ashley Molstad, all three of them were very low ranked at the beginning of the year prior, had to really push to even qualify for NLC the year that they attended. So it just gave it a lot of reality and a lot of perspective. So I love the idea of being able to go to success club trips. I've been able to qualify every year and with my teaching schedule, I just, I can't make that work yet, hopefully one day. Um, and that is such a nice incentive and NLC is such a nice reward for, both of them are rewards for your hard work for different purposes. But what really joins all of that together, you have Super Sunday, you have NLC and success club trip is Summit. And if you're not attending Summit, I understand that, but get yourself to summit soon. Um, it took me two years in my coaching journey, like just for the success club trip in a, or it's super Sunday. It took me two years to get myself to okay. summit and I will never miss another one. It's worth the expense. So do as Jess was saying and start putting that, you know, couple of bucks aside, look for deals, get a credit card that has good airline points, do something that's going to help you make that happen. Bunk with other girls on the team and get yourself there. It is such an amazing experience. It's fun. There's parties and there's also so much to learn and so much to gain. There's nothing like live events. And maybe uh, it's the teacher in me who just likes that interaction and sitting there and learning and dis discussing with peers. I just think it's really energizing and all of these events do that for you. And it also puts you in touch with the reality of this business and the reality of this company. We get to interact virtually all the time. We get to interact with our challengers. But when you see other people in the trenches and you're like, oh, it's not just me and my team. It's not just us having these struggles. It's not just us reaching for these successes. It puts it in perspective and it also makes you really humble and grateful for the opportunity that we have. 
And I also, just because my husband berated our, me, not in a bad way, um, for this yesterday, I want to get everyone prepared for next tax season very quickly, if I can be like a big pain, only because Jess also mentioned the putting money aside thing. Make sure you are tracking your beach body expenditures and make sure you are keeping all of your accounting. Those flights count as travel expenses. Um, a lot of your clothing that you purchase, your workout gear counts as expenses for your business. If you're purchasing samples for people, if you're sending mailings, that postage counts. So make sure you're doing yourself a favor and keeping accounting of that. I, um, in, when I post this, I'm gonna share with you a Google Sheets document that I found that was a preloaded expense budget for the month. And I put into it some awesome categories that were Beachbody related on top of what categories it has on there already. Purchases like our business expense fees and all of that stuff, our service fees. So keeping track of that by month and having something to direct to your accountant, because once you girls are making the money, because you're all starting to do that, you're going to need that. You're going to be grateful that you have that because, um, you know, it's beautiful to have this money coming in, this, what seems like passive income, what seems like we can have a little bit of control over it. And it's all of these incentives and rewards to go and purchase the plane ticket and get those cool Lululemon pants and all that stuff. Um, but make it worth it come tax time, get all of your deductions and get all of your expenditures squared away so that you can really benefit from this business and not feel the stress at tax time. So that's a lesson I learned a little late and I don't want anyone to make that mistake. So um, Jess is hosting her uh, sneak peek at the um, retreat this weekend. It's something we did at a retreat last year and it was really fun to do something like that. So if you ever are with a bunch of coaches, whether it's impromptu or planned like these retreats, consider it. Just have a couple of minutes and powwow and, and get yourself on live video or do something to share. But start making a collection on YouTube of any and all of the content that you're creating that's video. I know some of you do live videos, videos cooking with your kids, videos doing workouts, talking about your favorite workout gear. Any of that stuff is is good to have. So get yourself a nice YouTube channel and start putting it on there. I don't promote any of my YouTube content. It just kind of sits. Maybe I'll get to that place one day, but without fail, at least once a week, I get contacted because of the video I have about my autoimmune disease. And people out of the blue will contact me and they'll be interested in my diet and interested in my fitness routine. So just let that be, let that sit there. And then what that allows you to do is pull that content and share it when it's necessary. So what we started to do is kind of a slow learning experience for me from NLC and, and from this and from a Bob Heilig training where he talks about sharing third party tools. We started recording our sneak peeks that we're hosting every two weeks. I'm making them themed, a different theme, a different topic each time so that when I'm talking to a prospect, I don't have to wait for our next sneak peek. I don't have to try to arrange a phone call if it's not going to happen with us. I can say, oh, you already work? Well, here's our video on part-time coaching. Oh, you really, you've got the fitness thing down, but you're looking for a way to dial in your nutrition? Here's our video on the certification option when it comes to coaching. You know, really thinking about that and having a collection so it's there and ready to roll is really important. Um, this Thursday night, the call topic is committing to you. It's one of the things that a lot of my downline talk about being a coach of one. Some days it's lovely to help all these people. And as Jess said, 67 homes is incredible for one team, uh, especially a team that's still growing. I know that we're all in our infant stages in this downline. Um, it's going to keep growing. That number is going to get bigger, but there are some days where you coach one person and that one person is yourself and owning up to that and being honest with that is a very relatable scenario for other people. They're looking for a way to hold themselves accountable and that automatically leads them to look at the challenger perspective. But if you can show them that being a coach is being accountable to themselves, making that commitment to themselves for the long term, that's always what I say, it's a lifetime commitment to your own health and wellness that often speaks to a lot of people. So that's our topic for this Thursday night. You're welcome to invite people to it. I can share the link with you on that. Jess has our um, sneak peek for Team Fit Dynasty for the weekend set up in a Facebook event, or is it a group or an event, Jess? It's a group, right? It's a group. I'm speaking out of my rear end sometimes, I swear, after a long school day. Um, but it's, it's just really important. When I sat at NLC, Ali Testatori started out her year last year as a paid or a lifetime 10 star diamond and a paid one star diamond. She had watched her house of cards completely crumble. 
And she committed to herself to get back to 10 star and to become an elite coach again. And so she decided to host a sneak peek every single week. And that's why I started to do these every two weeks, every single week with their sports schedules and my single momingness on the evenings was not going to happen for me this time, but every two weeks I can commit to. So find something like that for you. If you want to be one of the stars on this team, meaning a star diamond, we're all stars. Let's be real. Um, then commit to doing that for yourself or link up with some other coaches or join into Jess's call or join into mine, but find a way to share this opportunity. It's when we all started to share this. And I know the same is true for Jess. When you start to share the business side of it is when you find be business people. When you're just sharing the challenger side, you find challengers and they're beautiful. Um, but it could take two and a half years like this beautiful girl, Jackie, to join as a coach when you're sharing just the challenger side of things. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's talk about an action item. Does everybody have their phones? We're not going to do an 11 and 22 because that it takes a long time. Set a timer and you're welcome to do that after we log off. But we're going to interact with some Instagram stories to both add to our network and to send invites. So if you could open up your phone and open Instagram, if you don't have your phone handy, just write down what we're about to do and then you can do it on your own time. Go to your story, open up your Instagram story, and I hope you know how to look at who's viewed it. If you don't know how to do that, learn. Google it, as Julie Voris would say. She's, that's your best friend. And go to the, the furthest story back, the one that's like 23 and a half hours ago, because that'll have the most views. And I want you to scroll through and look at anybody who viewed your story who has a story and click on that person's story. But it cannot be anyone that's on this call, anyone that's on this team, it cannot be your mom, right? We're talking about even a friend is fine, a coworker's fine, but nobody who's already in your uh, conversations. Click on that person's story and start interacting and do that with a couple of people. I'm gonna give us two minutes to do that and then I'm gonna move us on to one more activity. So interact with them. You can send those little quick replies. You can ask them where that kombucha's from. You could answer their oat milk poll, because I hear those are all the rage these days. That's a cute dog. Sorry, Robin and Jess, I'm skipping over you. Scroll through your stories till you find people. Oh, that's a great quote. And keep returning back to that post to find more people. Oh, these Isogenics cleanse girls. Hi, cutie. Hold on, buddy. Almost done. I know. He's through the vent. Oh, the vent. He's talking to me through the vent. I'm sorry. It's a madhouse over here. Awesome. One more minute. Ugh. Washington, D.C. is my favorite place. A little trick that a lot of the coaches at NLC were doing is while we were sitting in trainings, they would plug their phone into a charger and hit the first story and just let it sit and just let it sit there. So now their phone is scrolling through people's stories. So now they're showing up as viewers of people's stories without having to sit and view people's stories, which I thought was a really clever and kind of rude, but also kind of clever way to get involved with people. They were all Holly Hilliers downline. But anyway, if you're ever needing your phone to sit and you want it to be idle and don't want to touch it, do that if you don't have Captivate set up. 10 seconds. Awesome. Okay. So now same post, same people who do not have stories and scroll through and just pick any five and listen because there'll be a couple steps to this. Pick any five that look like your kind of people or whose names stand out to you as new because hopefully you're growing and people are finding it. Maybe you're hashtagging or using geotags in your stories so new people are finding it. So five people whose pictures stand out, their names stand out, or they seem like they're new go to their profile and do a 531 for them. 
So you're going to like five of their pictures. You are going to comment on three of their pictures. And if you're already following them, you're going to follow someone else who's following them. If you're not already following them, you're going to follow them. So like five, comment on three, and follow them or one of the people following them. All right? And do that for at least five. And that'll be that. And when you're commenting, I'm sure you've heard about the CCQ method. It's in a lot of the trainings. I'm sure Jess or I have talked to you about it at some point, or you're just smart enough to know it yourself. Um, but CCQ is a good way to think about commenting. Oh, I'm getting already people responding. And when you're doing these things, ignore the responses. They're just taking up your time. And ignore the chick in the video waving at you like I am. Um, but it's a CCQ is a compliment, comment, question. So something like, wow, great blouse. I have a bridal shower I could wear that too. Where did you get it? So it's a compliment, comment, question as a really nice way to create engagement. And we're just like, that's so pretty. They're just going to double tap or give you a kiss and move on with their lives. So try to engage them in conversation. It takes more time, but the time is worth it. And when you're looking at people, when you're trying to decide who to follow, if you see that like other coaches are following them that are on this team, skip over those people. But if you see other coaches that are big wig coaches that are following them, don't hesitate to follow because I'm sure that Melanie Mitchell is not in there giving this person the love and attention you're going to. I just found a new friend following me. My son's got a full on matchbox car thing going on right now. Like it's not nine o'clock at night. And the last thing, as you finish that up, and then we can stop the recording, so it'll be really awkward for everyone to watch this and just see us all staring at our phones. Send an invitation that's going to make you puke. Someone who you just feel like would rock the business, rock Ultimate Portion Fix, would rock coaching, and do it on video. Instagram gives you 15-second video clips. Send them a video that shows you're really truly interested, that shows you really truly care. And if it doesn't go well, delete it and try again, but do it. As um, Jess would know, Josh Coates always says, let's puke together. And I'm gonna give my team a let's puke challenge every day in April, and this is it. Find that person who is your ideal customer coach, ultra, ultimate portion fix, certified person, and send them a video message inviting, not just saying hi, but just spilling your guts, literally and figuratively. All right, all, keep that going. I'm gonna stop the recording.